Hey you guys, Ogre Barbarian here, and I wanted to give a quick review of these boys since I got them. I geared them up to nine already. Uh, I really like him, actually. Uh, and something to note about him: there's a legendary on his uh, on his kit that allows him to gain agility ups at the end of each ally's turn and 25% meter as well. Uh, so I think he actually slots really nicely into this team for the overheal team. Um, so you gain the meter right there. So for a desert attack. So I think it's pretty cool what he can do. Um, <laughs> and it's Beast Boy's turn around, and he's going to randomly attack in between anyway, so that's cool. I really like the idea of this team, so. Um, but we all know that. Uh, I think it's a good hero challenge team. I definitely think that uh, Beast Boy could slot in, not necessarily for Bane like I have here, but that's, you know, what I did. I do like the meter control that Beast Boy provides, um, maybe in addition to Bane, and instead of Starfire, it really depends on what your opponent, what you're facing, you know, maybe, but I really do think he slots nicely into this team. Um, and then there's obviously other teams that he slots into as well. But the fact that Starfire was a Titan and she works really well in this team, I wanted to kind of show that synergy that they have. Obviously, I don't have all of Beast Boy's skills, like, totally upgraded yet, but you can see that he does take chunks of meter away, which is really nice. So, and again, he gains a ton of meter every time anybody takes a turn if he's overhealed, so I really like that. He also gains a bunch of agility ups, so his turns are going to come up really fast, and he gets the free attacks, so he's going to be attacking all over the place, and meter controlling your opponents with his, uh, you know, two moves that end running the uh, affinity resistance as well, so I really like what he does bring to the team, so he also synergizes again with titans, and I just, I love bonus attacks. I love meter control, so Beast Boy is right up my alley. I'm really enjoying it so far. Um, right here, uh, Enchantress, Beast Boy, and Starfire are all gear 9. Swamp Thing is obviously gear 11 because he's a bleeder, but one thing I will say is if I didn't have Swamp Thing right now, this battle would probably take forever just because Necron has that much HP. I don't feel threatened at all by him, even though my characters are all gear 9, just because of the way this team works. Um, and again, you can see Beast Boy just going off like crazy with attacks. Um, so, And that was the idea with this, is that he's going to attack a lot, just because he's going to gain meter constantly. Because every ally turn, he's going to gain 25% meter if you have that legendary upgrade. And that was one of the two that I took, so... I very, very enjoy, very much enjoy this team. Um, so. Again, I think he could slot in for just about anybody on the team, uh, as long as you kind of, you know, build the overheal team. He's definitely one that you could include with it if you wanted to do for heal or hero challenges or whatnot. Uh, I'll show you the couple other teams that I had come up with. Uh, the first one here, uh, SSS Lex, Beast Boy, Kid Flash, and Hippolyta. And this one was all about meter control. Hippolyta gives your team meter up and strength ups, uh, because Kid Flash, Beast Boy, and Lex don't necessarily hit the hardest. Uh, however, Kid Flash, Beast Boy, and Lex all provide meter down at some point or another, and Lex also provides speed ups for the team, which is really nice. So... Lex can also call assists, so Polyfix can call assists, uh, and then Lex's leadership keeps them all healed because Hippolyta has team-wide buffs, uh, Beast Boy has buffs, and then Lex's uh, speed, speed ups with team-wide as well. So it keeps the team fairly healthy. I did run it earlier against uh, Chapter 8 Heroic, just like I did there. It took forever, but my team was injured when I came into the final wave, and by the time that Necron died, I was at full heal again. And, like, Necron couldn't even move, because he had 12 speed downs, and then 
everybody else was just meter downing him the entire time, so he couldn't even move. It was kind of hilarious. And he had like eight, eight stacks of uh, buff immunity too, so that was kind of funny. And then the last one I'd come up with, obviously, is just more a flavor win. It's just Titans. This is actually the team that I am working on right now. Uh, I have Nightwing, Beast Boy, and Raven all at gear 9. Supergirl is at gear 8 on her way to 9. Uh, I will eventually get them up to gear 11, and they will be my substitute team when I don't use bleeders. I'll be using Titans. So, But, like I said, I just wanted to give a quick review of Beast Boy. Um... I think he's pretty awesome, and I think you guys would enjoy him, especially if you, you know, really like what his kit does bring, which is a lot of meter control, uh, and his bear hug, and his belly flop, lots of meter control. So that's pretty much what he's about. Um, and then also, if you take this legendary upgrade uh, for the agility ups and turn meter up if he's overhealed, uh, just make sure you can overheal him and you're good to go. And then, obviously, the damage immunity probably is the other upgrade. I just went with these two because I have every intention of getting him to, you know, L3 after his next PvP. Um, and then, obviously, I'm not necessarily saying this is the order that you want to take. I'm just saying he has a lot of good upgrades. So, uh, I'll give a more in-depth view of his uh, kit later on. But I just want to give my initial thoughts. I think he's good. If you guys like this style of play, I think he's very much fits uh, well into a lot of different teams. And I think you'll enjoy them. So, alright, as always, enjoy and grind on.